Hey y'all, Stump again. This is going to be yet another VR. Now, I'm not trying to become a VR channel, but seems like everybody's wanting a, a VR for something right about now. Well, this one here is for a lady that, uh, I'm starting to like her channel more and more. She's got some hellacious Mosin work going on. Anyway, to the point. Michelle just playing. 700 sub VR. Can't recall all the rules, but uh, pretty much it's show off your, your zombie killing tool, weapon of choice, zombie getter, whatever. Sounds like my cat's over here fighting a zombie now. But anyway, so I thought about this for a little bit. What would I use in the midst of the zombie apocalypse? Well, we walk around in a world full of brain dead zombies all day, every day anyway, so. I figured I'd use for the apocalypse the same thing I use for your standard everyday run of mill zombie. 1911. It's really hard to beat, but a firearm of any kind does have a limitation. You can only effectively carry so much ammunition of any sort. So sooner or later, it's going to run dry, and when it does, you've got an overgrown paperweight to slap them with, but as I understand it, the zombie deal, to put them down, you got to separate here from here. So, one of my favorite bayonets, I believe that's going to be my go-to for the zombie thing. Now, you know, zombies come in all shapes and sizes. You know, you got the little runny people that walk around that'll be zombies. And you got the big old boys like me and Supa. And, you know, some even bigger. God knows, some even uglier. But, you figure you're going to need to be able to get through some pretty good sized necks from time to time. Well, I do believe that would be long enough to cleave might near any neck you'd run across. And... Yeah, it's got enough weight and one good swing, you're going to get all the way through that spinal cord and separate the so-called smart end from the dumb end. So, I don't remember if a shout-out is required or not, but I'm going to throw a couple in. First of all, I'm going to shout-out my old lady, Stumphead Ivester. Yeah, she's got a channel. She's going along pretty good. She's participated in a few of my videos, and you've heard me and some of hers. So... Yep, her link will be down below. Um, Dutch Knife Guy. He's fairly new to YouTube, if I'm not mistaken, five, six months. He's just over 100 subs now. I tell you what, that's a cool dude. He, uh, he gives you a healthy respect of the, the cost of living difference between here in the States and over there where he's at. Um, but yeah, Dutch Knife Guy is just, he's a good all around guy. His videos that he's got up so far have definitely roused my curiosity and kept my interest. So, yeah, there'll be a link down there for him, too. So let's go show him and old lady a little bit of love. You know. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting directions off camera again. What? Yeah, the old lady's right. I can't leave out Dish. Yeah, her link will be down there. She's about the only girl I know other than my old lady that's more than willing to get in there, you know, elbows deep in blood and guts, cleaning deer and hunting and fishing. Just a, you know, southern boy's dream. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting long-winded on this. We've got a few other things to take care of this evening. So, yeah, Michelle. I believe a, a bayonet for an 03 Springfield will definitely get the, the zombie ass whipping accomplished. Be good and we'll see y'all later.